We've gotten here really because of the past 10 years, Victor Orban has been accused of consistently and heavily chipping away at uh, democracy in Hungary. Even uh, eight days ago, Freedom House, an NGO, said that Hungary can no longer be regarded as a democracy. But specifically this debate today in the European Parliament is in relation to the emergency legislation Victor Orban imposed as part of the COVID-19 pandemic, specifically some of the draconian aspects of that around the fact that where, for example, people who are accused of spreading misinformation Information can be given up to five years in prison. And that has actually materialised. We've seen cases in Hungary, in particular one case of a 64-year-old man who was arrested at dawn for posting a Facebook post which was just critical of Viktor Orban. And, and similar cases have happened for opposition politicians. So this debate today is really about the European Parliament and the European Commission saying that even though we're embroiled in this pandemic, we aren't forgetting the fact that we're very concerned about this legislation. Hungary's foreign minister came on this programme and defended the legislation that was in place and we'll expect that to be happening again. How much power, though, Shena, does Europe actually have when it comes to Hungary and Mr Orban reining in some of that? Yeah, and I think that's a fair point because we know that all member states have imposed emergency legislation and some countries without a sunset clause. But there are concerns about Hungary specifically because of the jailing of people and because of the record that Viktor Orban has. But you're right, the EU's response has been incredibly weak over the past 10 years and in relation to this because there was an initial statement from, from Ursula von der Leyen from the President of the European Commission who didn't really even name Hungary in regard to this. So what there is a hope about is that eventually the EU can tie high uh um, the EU's budget with ensuring that member states abide by the rule of law and that is a discussion taking place and I've speak, spoken to Hungarian opposition uh, politicians and members of the European Council are saying that they hope that they will be able to tie this which means in the future that Viktor Orban will be tied to abiding by the rule of law eventually.